Hi YouTube, I am back with a pick a card that was uh, requested last time. So I'm going to go ahead and just do that one real quick. And then, um, yeah, let's just get started. I have five options. Um, go ahead and make your selection. You can pause it if you need to. Okay, so let's get started with the ace over here on this side. See what we have. Okay. Let's see. Okay, ace. What do we have for the ace? Oh, you have an extra message here. Okay, so affectionate and admiring you. Wow. So this person, of course, is feeling very... Look at that. Only you. Okay, so they really are admiring you. Like, you are the main focus here. They will call. This is Spirit's message, actually. Um, it was, I was supposed to get what they're really feeling from you, but I guess Spirit really wants to deliver this. So, I feel like... <laughs> Like, they want forgiveness, okay? They want forgiveness. I feel like maybe you gave them a sense of security here. This person is going to call you, okay? This is a straightforward message from Spirit, okay? Um, they are admiring you, very affectionate. If you're wondering, um, they're probably thinking that you think that you're with, um, that they are with someone else, but they're not. They want you to know that. Um, but they, it's like you're their only focus because the question is, when I asked, when I was pulling cards, what are they really feeling? They feel like you're the only, they're, they're, you're the only one in their world right now. The main focus, that's what I keep getting here. Okay, so, uh, let's clarify a little. I'm not too sure if I want to use this one. Mm. Let me just get one of my favorites. Okay. What is this apology about? What is this apology about? They probably want to spend time with you too. We have gifts. To me, gifts is a gift of time, gift of, um, I don't know, taking you out on a date. Yeah. Apology, maybe because they walked away or they drained you emotionally okay this person feels at a distance from you like um emotional distance an apology because they kind of forced you to walk away yeah apology because they ignored you i feel like there was ignoring they were ignoring you they weren't really they were taking for granted they wanted they were one foot in one foot out kind of thing they could have they probably also just kept themselves stuck there didn't really decide and give you any clarity at all you might have had a family or stability with this person but you brought that sense of stability for most of you that's what i'm feeling what is this establish about oh wow i'll take that one because of the way they fell out yeah so with the stability yeah it kind of ended it's like you did bring this stability to them and now they're being forced to accept that but they want change they actually see change with you okay they find it very hard to actually end something with you that's why they want to call they find it very very hard to um to accept an ending here and I feel like, yeah, maybe they want to something a lot more serious. Yeah, see, they want a new beginning here. They want to start all over. And maybe possibly change things around. And this time, they, I don't know, but for some of you, this person knows that they can't just come in. They have to be changed and really uh, ready to start something new. Mm -hmm. And it feels like they are... I almost, I don't know why I want to say they're in the mood of something stable. I don't know what that means, but this person is actually thinking about stability now, I feel, with you. I don't know how long it's been since you both have talked. What is this they will call? Some of you, you probably were wondering about someone else here for some reason. I don't know. They will call. Okay, this person is actually probably um, trying to find out information about you. Okay, 
yeah they're trying to find out like snooping around yeah they will call because they've been isolated they've been reflecting they've been thinking about the future they probably stalk you um online okay this person has been reflecting on the way that they had communicated with you before yeah and they're not very proud of it i don't i don't feel that what is this only you yeah see <laughs> unexpected because i feel like those words are actually going to come out of them um not exactly um you're the only one but it seems like you're you're not expecting this the wheel it's unexpected see an apology the page of cups it's just confirmation of what we have over here now the apology unexpected apology from somebody that probably didn't want to commit or just um didn't didn't really show any interest any seriousness maybe because you pulled back now they're wanting to come in i feel like a lot of you pulled back your energy what is this admiring and affection which it's pretty self-explanatory they're admiring you yeah you probably have really been living your own life you know really focused on you your mind body and soul like you live a good comfortable life yep and they see you as a star here wow so i don't know what happened here with both of you but this person is really seeing you in really good light actually i need to fix my light <laughs> it's a little dark here sorry about that i needed to fix my light anyways how do they see you right now which we already have it they admire you okay you're living your life you are just i don't know if maybe you're in the lime like in the spotlight somewhere on uh, social media or this is how they're dreaming of you too and yeah they're wishing upon you, admiring you. How do they see you? Cleaning up your act, putting others first, meeting your own needs. And you might have cut them off. You pulled back, okay? It seems like you're a really good person. Like they are seeing you as like a nun here. But you might have cut them off and... um like you are just focused on yourself yeah so if you didn't cut them off this might not be yours or maybe you if if they're the ones that walked away from you they're seeing that you're very focused on yourself and um you're a person that will sacrifice for anybody like you put others first before you that's how they're seeing you yeah this person is seeing a different side of you and they're probably stressing over you maybe because yeah see really stressing over you it's like they've something here has switched up with the hangman here and look at that anxiety and um kind of like almost depression here they feel isolated they're withdrawn from people too reflecting this person pushed back their um they didn't want to feel they didn't want to recognize their feelings acknowledge their feelings for you they kept pushing you back in this deck this is how i feel the king of um chalice pushing back yeah that's what i feel with that Okay, so that is, I hope that resonated and helped at least one person. We do have a Gemini uh, Pisces here. Um, Scorpio, Virgo, Gemini again, Taurus, Pisces, Sag, Pisces, Virgo, Aquarius, air signs. I see all signs here, but those are the main ones. Okay, so let's keep going. Number twos. What do we have for number twos? Ooh, right away this person is stuck oh yeah really stuck okay <laughs> really stuck thoughts of you keep me up at night so they're really thinking overthinking feeling stuck 
Um, this person goes out just to be avoid being alone and thinking about you a lot. Partying. Solitary. Look at that. Because it seems like they don't want to be alone. They're single right now. If you're if they if you think that there was someone else, they might be talking to others, but they're not with anybody. Okay, they feel alone, okay, right now, and they feel stuck. They they go out with friends, family, whatever. Um, just so they won't be alone at home thinking about you. Yeah, this person feels it's not gender specific. The masculine energy is action oriented. So this person feels like they need to take action towards you. Whoa. Okay. And they feel stuck. They try to distract themselves by doing things. Um, maybe not partying, but, you know, they, they try to distract themselves, okay? Um, but, of course, most of you, this person goes out with friends, parties, just so they can distract themselves from the late night thoughts. What is this masculine energy about? So, yeah. They're very disappointed. Um, number one's ended with this card, I think. So, very disappointed, regretful. Uh, whatever they they did in the past is making them feel like they need to take action. Yeah, what they did in the past was not really... Number one's ended with this card, too. It's almost like a continuance here. It, in the past, they regret not... Um, voicing out or they regret pushing you away and not acknowledging their feelings for you here the king of chalice gives me a different vibe than the traditional tarot this is somebody that ha is a closed book doesn't express their feelings um they probably keep them all inside they try to push you away you see how he has his hand up and say no talk to the hand that kind of feeling and now they're regretting that now they're regretting that, that they didn't take action. They didn't tell you or did enough, I'm getting. What is this solitary about? Yeah, so this person has tried to move forward, but it's like something here keeps them stuck. Yeah, so this person has also... Um, They've been alone, probably withdrawn. I don't know why I'm getting that feeling too because of this stuck. But I feel like this person knows that they have to take charge of their um, life. They need to level up and start making start making smarter choices. I'm getting too with the chariot being more confident. Um, I feel like this, yeah, like they need to like grow up, step up. Masculine energy again. They are feeling. Oh, withdrawn. That's why I'm feeling withdrawn because it. This is another word for solitary. Duh. Anyways, um. So I feel like this person wants to take action because they feel lonely. Wow. What is this partying? Partying. So this person. Whoa. Whoever I'm picking up on. Oh. Sorry. So, wow. These came out. Um, I don't take the ones that fall. Sometimes I do feel it and I take them, but I feel them here. But they're reminiscing on the times that you both came together. Now there is a, you know, you both we're together probably working together on something or a team now there's a wedge there and they're heartbroken it's because this happiness ended with you this emotional fulfillment they're reminiscing about you but they rather go out and get distracted because they don't want to remember that um they don't want to be thinking about you they don't want to yeah they give their attention elsewhere mm-hmm so they won't think about that 
they're trying to i feel like they're trying to look for that emotional fulfillment like kind of filling in a void that's what it feels like here for some reason that's what i'm feeling what is this late night so they put their attention elsewhere with the six of pentacles what is this late night late night Ooh. they're probably also i see somebody saving a lot of money working towards something not wanting to spend a lot of time i mean not a lot of time a lot of money so they're probably having difficulties when they go out and stuff they have difficulties maybe paying off stuff to their bills um and when they don't have money they have to stay home so they stay home and they're just thinking about you <laughs> um that's what i'm getting for somebody here of course this person is probably just trying to well they don't tell anybody they get just you know they put their their attention onto themselves trying to work on themselves trying to but they don't really they're very reserved they don't tell anybody about these feelings that they have for you yeah i feel like this person is wanting to heal from this and just and just move on but they can't this person is trying to level up too like they're trying to step up maybe even with work saving money finding stability um but this person is with the star here it could also be that they're dreaming of you wishing hopeful what is this stuck give me more on this stuff for this person's feelings yeah they're trying to get over this they're just trying to move on okay but they feel stuck because they think about all the the times that they did you wrong the times that they were playing around playing games maybe for some of them yeah and they're they feel stuck because they keep holding back Holding back, maybe wanting your attention. I get a lot of Leo energy here too. <laughs> and it's like they don't have the courage to come come back around or something like that. Not yet. Because I feel like this person wants to prove that they can, they can um, level up. I don't know why, but this person has some of you. This person, for some of you, this person wants to... Um, kind of um prove something to you like they can level up that they can become better too i don't know why i feel that for this pile um maybe you're becoming better you're getting attention and all that and that's probably it too because there is some kind of reason here why like they either they feel like they need to step up get their shit together so they can come towards you that's the kind of vibe that i'm getting here for some reason anyways let's see how do they see you for number twos how does this person see number twos cowgirl cowboy doesn't matter it's not masculine energy again so that's it's like they need to come towards you or they also see you as an independent spirit maybe that's how they're seeing you and they want to become independent themselves too okay and they could also be thinking timing issues maybe there is an age gap for some of you or maybe there's just um their time is just a matter of time maybe they're waiting on on the right time to come in what is this wow eight of cups emotionally drained somebody walking away what is this cowgirl about yeah somebody walking away so this person seems like yeah wishful thinking wishing wishing that maybe they can travel get out there maybe um also try to make some kind of move be free but i feel like this person is also trying to see 
how everything um, unfolds between you both. Or maybe taking an adventure, like a, I mean adventure, well, a trip with you or something like that too. Going on an adventure. Yeah, it seems like this person thinks that you might be coming back too. That's what it feels like. Like they're waiting on you. But they know that it's only a matter of time before you both... I feel like they're trying to manifest you. I feel like, yeah. It seems like you have a lot more to offer. And this person is trying to... Is going to want to manifest something together. Something stable. Something... There's two tens um, here. But they want... It's like their end goal is you, I'm getting. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm getting this vibe and it does not leave. I don't know, that's what I'm feeling here. That this person wants to manifest you, but they don't want to come to you empty handed. So it's only a matter of time. I don't know, they're waiting for the right time to come towards you. They know that time is um, ticking. Why is it two of wands here? like they have to make a decision here but it's like they're hoping for the best they could also be seeing you from afar saying seeing you you know be independent carry yourself like you have it all you know you're counting your blessings and they don't have any kind of thing like they still feel stuck you're you're moving on that kind of feeling too yeah they're reminiscing about when you both used to travel, some of you, or they're just reminiscing um, memories of you and wanting to come towards you. This is somebody that has already kind of made up their mind and it's, it's like hopeful that everything will go well once they come towards you because this person is gonna come towards you, I feel. Once they get the courage to come, they could be seeing you also get attention from others or they could be thinking that. Mm -hmm. it's almost similar like number two is but this person here that i'm picking up on i feel like they they feel they need to step up in order to come towards you i don't know that's what i'm feeling here okay so that is what i have i have scorpio aries cancer virgo and gemini mm, a lot of earth Aquarius, Pisces, Fire, I see all signs, Leo, okay, so I hope it helped at least one person out there, sorry I couldn't explain it better, but that's, I explained it as best I can, okay, number threes, what do we have for number threes, okay, what do they feel, passionate about you, very passionate, don't lose hope, Wow, you got two spirit message here. Trust the plan. Secret admirer. So there there's might be some resistance here, shyness, and time. So hmm, this person could be waiting for the right time. Okay, so it's telling you don't lose hope. Okay, so let's see. Scene. It could be a cycle that will end it and you know there's like this I always call it like a pause kind of thing because I think that's what we experience all the time. Let's see, what is this time about? Okay, somebody here is not yeah, somebody here is wanting to mend a situation keep going okay communicate what is this time wow with the two of cups you're the first pile that has that okay so there is still a soul connection here or there is a soul connection here but they there's some kind of you know the last pile got that different deck something about time Okay, when you least expect it, that's going to come around, okay? Um, if you haven't been talking to this person and it's been a while, this person still feels your connection. Um, for others of you, it's just a secret admirer. And when you least expect it, they're going to come in. <laughs> wow. What is a secret admirer? 
whoa so this person gives them anxiety they don't like rejection whoa they are the resisting this for some reason i feel like this person has gone through some pain okay i don't know why but the tears are really standing out to me for some reason this person could be really comfortable where they're at and it kind of seems like it gives them anxiety coming towards you or they they get anxiety thinking about um, getting rejected by you. Some of them, they just don't want to put any more effort into something because they've been done wrong. Something like that too. Yeah, I'm getting a couple of storylines, okay? So just choose what resonates there. Um, because the tears here are standing out, but I'm not sure why. Yeah, see, it kind of seems like they're, it would be too much of their, out of their comfort zone as well. If they come towards you, there could be some resistance, some, or they've been thinking about also the past, how they, things have unfolded in the past for some of you. And it gives them a stress, anxiety, and maybe even the feeling that you're going to reject them. The past could be, could involve you. If not, um, then it's, you just give them anxiety. <laughs> Maybe because they've gone through something with someone else. What is this trust the plan? So these are two spirit message. The other, the other pilots did not get that. From one and two, they didn't get that. They got other cards. Okay, trust the plan. Okay, keep going. You've probably gone through so much already. Trust the plan. You will be getting over. Mm, maybe all you also have this wall. Well, what if it doesn't happen? And you're kind of blocking yourself. You're standing your ground. But at the same time, you're wanting to keep on going you're trying to get over something that has happened in the past maybe even with them um you're kind of tired too like what if it doesn't happen so you have to trust here okay maybe you're getting over something too that has hurt you what is this don't lose hope don't lose hope um hmm. you've been in your thoughts too okay and that could repel a person okay so yeah don't lose hope be confident let go of those thoughts okay you're keeping yourself in this in this um in this how do i say it these thoughts are not real okay you can you can um just refocus redirect your focus here onto you okay be confident go out there live your life it'll happen you just have to trust i know it's easier said than done <laughs> uh, you know but if i would have told myself that <laughs> five years ago i would have slapped me <laughs> but um let's see so this person could be keeping an eye on you wanting to communicate just waiting for you um why do I feel like this person is waiting for you to to communicate with them? For those that are in no contact right now, this person is waiting for you to com communicate with them. But of course, um, others of you, this person is just keeping tabs on you. Just, you know, here and there wanting to know about you, trying to investigate, you know, snooping around. What is this passion? It's really, but they feel this passion yeah wanting to reconnect go out have fun having as some of you this person does not like hmm it kind of seems like they feel when they think about you how passionate how much chemistry attraction you guys both have they want to come in and reconnect do something fun be straightforward with you um, this person, there could have also been some kind of drama too. It was very, because there was so much passion there, so much um, chemistry that almost turned into like, well, it really turned into some kind of drama. 
for some of you for others of you this person just wants to come in that's how passionate they are about you like wanting to reconnect with you like there's a lot of chemistry there okay how do they see you how does this person see number three how does this person see number threes how do they view number threes <laughs> like a teacher <laughs> I mean, learning lessons in life. Maybe you they learned a harsh lesson with you. Mm -hmm. Or they see you as somebody that maybe you're going to want answers from them. Answers. Why? Why haven't you came, came into and, you know, expressed yourself? Um, acting recklessly? I don't know if you if they're seeing you in this way in this light that you are a bit reckless sometimes okay and maybe you um overstep your boundaries sometimes that's how they might see you okay for some of you <laughs> that's how they're okay that's them i'm just a messenger okay <laughs> so what is the Ten of Pentacles doing here. So yeah, this person could be also learning their lesson here. Learning a lesson with you regarding commitment. Yeah, there was a struggle here for commitment, stability, security. And they learned a huge lesson with you. The struggle to get there. Uh, maybe you showed them a different way of how to be, how to work for what you have or something like that maybe they have less than what you do maybe yeah there's a struggle here to be in something long term and you were a huge lesson to them that's what it seems or they're struggling to get information on you yeah they're wondering if maybe you are just fine fine stable doing you know living the good life here with the ten of pentacles what is this pirate about there might have been some drama between you both yeah so it seems like maybe there was this feeling of needing to choose yeah, needing to choose either to stay or go because there was someone that was a bit too reckless or maybe there was a choice here between two people could be um, but I feel like this person needed to make a decision there was something here regarding um, only thinking about themselves and then maybe it frustrated you I'm getting because somebody here was reckless and they didn't want that so they had to make a choice here and it seems like maybe it wasn't enough what they were also giving you something like that too uh, this person probably also liked talking to others and they don't want anything serious they wanted to go out there explore maybe even travel i see traveling here this person could have just triggered you because they were only like all about themselves could be too i don't know why i'm getting that a lot from this wanted to go out there explore have their options open mm, maybe there was uh, yeah a decision here for them to make because i'm seeing a lot of twos two 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 um i don't know why i'm getting to here <laughs> Yeah, because I see one, two here, two of pentacles, two of wands, and two cups here too. For some reason, that's just standing out a lot. There was also something regarding a decision. Maybe it was reckless to, um, you know, they didn't want to fall in love. They didn't, they couldn't give you more. Yeah, it was like they had to level up as well. To you show you a different side of themselves there was something regarding that okay it's just take what resonates that's what i'm getting okay 
So I do have an Aries, a Scorpio, Leo, could be fire sign, Pisces, Gemini, Sag, Gemini again, fire, Leo, air, uh, water. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Okay, so I hope that helps somebody. Thank you so much. Let's move forward. Number fours. What do we have for number fours? Wow, they feel unwanted. Okay, dating. So they're out there dating around, putting some effort to try to move on because that's what they feel. It's like they need to move on. Oh, they're trying to move on just to push your buttons, okay? They're trying to trigger you. So if, you, if, the, if you're seeing things online, they're trying to make you jealous. Because they feel unwanted from you. <laughs> That's a different storyline. We have misunderstood. Um, maybe it could be also just blaming you, being the victim. There's resentment. Wow, this person could be bitter towards you. What's going on? What happened? Seems like something really bad happened here. So it might not resonate with everyone. So let's see. What is this resentment about? What's this resentment? Oh, wow. With the Five of Swords. This person is feeling bitter. There is some stinging words, too. Words that were said for some of you. There is some nasty energy between you both. They feel resentment, okay? And they're playing mind games right now with you. Yep, yeah, mind games. I told you, Eight of Swords. It's mind games. So, they might be trying to make you jealous, but they're just trying to get under your skin. That's what I'm getting. Oof, I don't like it. So, I don't know if they feel like maybe they're the victim or they're telling people that maybe you drew a line on the sand you know what i mean you put a boundary up and they don't like it maybe you stopped you know giving them maybe you pulled back you put a wall because it seems like you gave them that sense of um security or they're wanting to reconcile, like in the back of their head. That's what I'm feeling. But there's a blockage here, and it, it feel like it's from you. See, look at Ten of Wands. It's, they feel very misunderstood, or they're just acting like they're the victims. Like, yeah, they feel a lot of burden here. Like, it's over. Like, I'm not going to have that closeness anymore with that person or something like that. And they're getting mad about it. Feel resentful. Remember this pushing buttons. This person, if they haven't already, they're going to try to make you jealous. Okay? Yeah, because they're too much in their head, thinking way too logical instead of their feelings. Yep. They, are, they have decided not to express their feelings. They're keeping their mouth shut. Okay, they're going to try to make you jealous. Okay, so just watch out for that if they haven't already. What is this jading? Yeah, they could be also. Yeah, I'm telling you, they're doing something behind your back, like maybe dating, but they could be dating, like I said, um, so they can put up a front that they're going to get into a long-term commitment. That kind of thing. Like showing off. I feel like it's a show off. Yeah, but this person is so confused. Or they want to confuse you. Yeah, that's what it is. This person wants to confuse you. Because they see that you have it all. That you're going to move on. That you're keeping your options open. And this person seems like they have to get back at you. In order to trigger some kind of expression from you. Wow. This is nothing like the other piles. What is this unwanted about? Mm -mm. I don't know about this person. <laughs> unwanted with the three of wands and one foul. 
Okay, this one's been wanting to come out and I've been putting it back in. The Four of Swords, they're probably reminiscing a lot about you, thinking a lot about you. Um, three of Wands, they find it very difficult to see things from an op optimistic way. This is a different deck, so I don't go by the traditional meaning here. Here, I get a different vibe than optimism um, because they find it difficult to come up here to this hill thing. Yeah, climbing up. So there is some kind of difficult to see the bright side of things. So they feel very unwanted. Like, it kind of almost seems fresh. Yeah, look at that. They don't, they don't see how, they don't see the, uh, the bright side of things. They don't have hope. They're trying to ignore their feelings too or ignore you. Their two minds are something like they're hoping, like I said, like deep down inside, they want to express what they really want, but they're doing things out of spite. Like they're, oh geez, like they're not even, this person is just really, really angry or bitter. And I don't know how you can be bitter, but at this, well, I guess I know how, you know, you can be two things at once. You can, you can be really angry about something and still not express what you really feel. But the more mad someone is towards someone, there's some deep rooted feeling underneath that anger. Okay, so it seems like this person just doesn't want to face their feelings, doesn't want to express them. They just want, it almost seems like revenge, but it's more of like, I'm going to show you I can do better because you made me feel unwanted, that kind of feeling. Wow, this is very specific. Whoa. How do they see you? Maybe they feel misunderstood as well. How do they see number fours? How does this person see number fours? Robbed. Wow. Yeah, something lost opportunity, robbed of their power, happiness. Like you took something from them or you took their dignity, their their ego got hurt. Something like that. Wow. They're feeling insecure too, I'm feeling for some of them. Cape. Maybe confident. They are seeing you as very confident. Careful with your ego. Confident in yourself. I don't know what you did to this person because it seems like you did something like a bad like how do I explain it I don't know what did you do but you were like the that bee that went and slashed somebody's tires and left you know like I don't know but you kind of hurt their ego or something like that I don't know what you did what is this wrong but let me know, what did, what do you do to make someone feel this way? <laughs> this is very specific. Wow. Did they see you as someone else, maybe? That's what I just got. Or maybe they're thinking that you went with someone else or something. Anyways, we have the hangman. Yeah, they are trying to let go okay they're trying to release this because maybe you did it was like um they're needing they're wanting to surrender they're wanting to just let go close this out just take their coin and it's like fine then i'm leaving kind of thing but it seems like you did that instead of them like maybe they're mad that they you did that before they can or i don't know why i'm getting that like maybe you're breaking away from some kind of cycle from them. Mm -hmm. What is this cape? 
maybe they betrayed you and you did something i don't know what or you said something did something what is this cape about yeah it seems like this person wasn't really showing their true feelings there was uh and like they weren't expressing what they really felt they were acting childish like a player maybe you didn't take them serious maybe too that's how they're feeling you just left and they're desiring you they're desiring you more because you left you went away you just you almost left just bec because you were just tired that's how they see it like you just left but in reality it seems like you were just tired of doing stuff for them you were just tired you had to sacrifice this whole thing this drama whatever them leave you were almost forced to walk away because you were just done you were doing way too much in the relationship just to keep it together you gave them this sense of security like i said and they felt misunderstood but i feel like they just didn't take you serious like they took you for granted now they're desiring that back but you're feeling very confident this is how they're seeing you maybe you're impressing others you're taking the um attention from others maybe even spending time with someone else or they're thinking this but it's their emotions getting the best of them wow that is something anyways that is what i have it's very specific it's not for everyone <laughs> We have Cancer Libra here, um, a lot of fire, a lot of passion there. Aquarius, Gemini, Scorpio, water. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Earth, Taurus, or Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, and Pisces, okay? Those are just the main ones, but I see all elements there, all signs. Let's keep going. Number five, last but not least, let's see embarrassed so why are they feeling embarrassed okay stalking so they've been stalking you they feel like they need to keep track of you on social me media maybe or maybe trying to find information spirits message to you is not the right time so this person is feeling influenced by others this person is pretending they're wearing a mask they're pretending okay but they're behind the scenes they're trying to find out more information on you um this person is pretending they could be involved in a third party situation or you you know or maybe you know this and you were maybe involved in a third party with them but um it's like some they're feeling like something here you cannot like they can't really disengage from you like they can't really disconnect from you um that's how they're feeling right now i feel they could have other influences around them i'm getting friends friends family and influence them or maybe somebody here of course a third party is influencing their decision here so that is not the right time what is this um, influences about? For number fives. Okay, something behind the scenes. Something. Some with the temperance. It could be that they're wanting to mend a situation between you both, but there's been a lot of um, influences around them. Whoa, what's going on? There is like this dark attachment here um i don't know if you know this but there could be some dark attachment that maybe something that they're going through that they cannot let go of yet so it's not the right time there's a lot of negative thinking too could be ego they just can't tell you everything right now oh I don't like these two together because I always get some kind of magic going on. I don't know. Hopefully not. I don't like to read into that or give it any 
power or anything like that mm, at all. Because if you talk about it, you're acknowledging that you're making it stronger. Okay, just remember that. What does this pretend? So it could be just a something around them it could be something toxic around them that they're just not letting you know but i feel like you know but they haven't came out and said it okay what is this pretend pretend yeah they're pretending all right so this person keeps themselves distracted. They feel this connection, but they feel like it's a lost cause. That's not going to, nothing's going to really happen. You're going to reject them or something like that. So they're pretending that right now they are great. They're doing fine. They're very confident. They're very, they're out there doing them kind of thing. Getting attention. So I feel like this person is wanting to... This keeps coming up. There is something here that they want to turn. They want to turn around. There is like this turn around, turn of events happening. If this person is with someone else, it they're going to. Um, I feel like this person is gonna become single for some reason, or something's gonna turn around here. Why is this Queen of Wands here? Queen of Wands. There is a turn of events here. Something turning around for the better. Yeah. Wow. This person is really wanting to turn things around. If you were with this person and there was a third um, party or vice versa, maybe you were in a third party or they got you involved in a third party. I feel like this person wants to turn things around and get out of what they were in for some of you. And they are actually seeing a um, commitment here, a new start. But they're pretending right now that it's, it's not the right time. They're pretending that um, they don't want it. And it's just not the right time. Maybe that's what they're feeling. It's just not the right time. Because there's something here that they're stuck. They're bound to. They can't let go yet. What is this not the right time? Yeah, they're just reminiscing about you. Maybe there's kids involved. Or they're just waiting for the right time right now. Maybe even trying to heal something from the past. Or maybe they want to heal something. Or when the time comes, because it will come, I feel, they also know they're going to want to heal this with you. Whatever has happened between you both. What is this stalking? So they're keeping tabs on you for right now. But there is a wedge there. You might be you might work with this person too, but there is a wedge there, like something that they cannot tell you yet. They want to um I saw an olive branch, you know, extend an olive branch. This person doesn't feel like they are worthy of you. There could have been a third party. Um they're not worthy of you. They haven't expressed anything because of this. Maybe they also feel like they need to maybe, I do see, could be a divorcee. So they're trying to heal. What is this embarrassed? Why are they embarrassed? Why are they embarrassed? Why do they feel embarrassed with you? Oh, they'll feel embarrassed. What? If they get it rejected. So they don't want to look like a fool. If they come towards you with an apology or if they come towards you at all. With a cup of love here, a new beginning, wanting to start things up again and get rejected. They don't want to feel that. So this person does have insecurity reasons. Like they feel like they can't. They don't want to get turned down at all. Like, how do I explain it? They're afraid to get turned down and then feel embarrassed or, whoa, they could have some kind of ego issues. But give me more on this devil because, yeah, they're very reserved, trying to get them, keep themselves distracted. What is this devil about? 
Whoa. Yeah, so they're trying to get over something. They This one really wanted to come out. It just popped out and I put it back and it came back out. Yeah, they're really in their, their thoughts about you. How maybe it's caused a lot of um, emotional baggage. Or they're trying to get over something here. But then they feel like they did you wrong for a lot of you. They've been in a cycle with you. Maybe they even feel that you're getting attention from uh, somewhere else. They could be feeling very hurt. Very hurt. Maybe because you're walking away. You're getting over them. For some of you, you're getting over them. Or they're just too much in their thoughts about you. But someone here is stuck in a difficult situation. I don't know who I'm picking up on, but they're in, they might be stuck in a difficult situation here that you might not even know. Um, or they can't really tell you. But it's causing them a lot of stress as well. For some of you, this person is, you know, it's causing them a lot of stress. But it could also be addictions, codependency, unhealthy relationship that they're in. Um, yeah, something like that. Okay, let's see what we have. I do get lawyers, so maybe they're going through a divorce or... Mm -hmm. Okay. How are they seeing you? How does this person see you right now? What? This one came out for the last one, I think. Feeling insignificant. Negative emotions. Oh. Well, how they're seeing you is that you might have these negative emotions towards them. Or maybe, um, maybe you've told them that they, that they, how do I say? You've told them that they've made you feel like you don't matter or maybe like you're nobody we'll look more into that okay because we do have somebody here that is very independent they do see you as somebody very independent probably um that commitment kind of person too yeah let's see why is Coco here it's not gender specific but masculine energy could also signify that this person wants to take action towards you it's masculine energy taking action maybe they want to maybe you've pulled back from them as well but they're fighting it because you i don't know it seems like you're very independent and if you pulled back they're just fighting the urge to come towards you yeah so they are stalking you we have the knave of swords so that's why maybe you've pulled your energy back let's see what is this warms about Maybe they feel that you are mad at them. You've shown that you're mad at them, like you're keeping them out in the cold. Or maybe something here has come out from you, made it known that this person makes you feel like they're just, like you're not significant in their life. Mm -hmm. They're not, you're not happy. You're not happy. Like, you're not happy with this person. And you and they probably know that from you. So that's how they're viewing you right now, which is very interesting. Maybe you've told them that. I don't know. Or they just know that you're not happy in this situation. Yeah. So I'm, there might have been also a one-night stand I'm getting, too, for some of you. Or a booty call kind of relationship, too. I'm getting... um netflix and chill vibes too for some of you so kind of just like a booty car or one night stand okay so that is what i'm getting you might have brought them some kind of sense of security or wanting reconciliation too okay okay so we have a taurus leo um a gemini here capricorn cancer pisces Taurus, Leo, Water, Sag, Aquarius, Pisces, Aquarius again, <laughs> Pisces again. Okay, so I see all elements, so it doesn't matter what zodiac sign it is. So that is what I have. Thank you so much, and take care of you. Bye.